Hi guys! This is your boy, LN2K Long Talk Number 1. And for today's video, alam ko nakita nyo sa title na sasagutin natin kung true ba or hindi yung mga assumptions ninyo sa isang civil engineering student or engineering student na sa whole. Pero syempre, bago yan, intro muna para mga vlogger. This is your boy, LN2K Long Talk Number 1. So, welcome back to my channel guys So, sa mga hindi na nakakilala sa akin I'm Ken Brian Lontok from Bicol University Civil Engineering Student And nagtanong ako sa Instagram and Facebook ko About their assumptions sa mga Engineering student or engineering school So now, let's talk about that So, assumption number one. Ito ko tingin ko yung pinakamalaking stereotype sa mga engineering student. Sabi nga ni Pia is, mahilig uminom. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, and I'm not gonna deny it. It's actually true. Based on my experience on three years ko sa engineering, mahilig talaga uminom yung mga engineering student because we have a lot of reasons, like may tatlong reason. Reason number one, Pasado. Reason number two, bagsak iinom. Reason number three, bakit hindi, di ba? Anyway, but I think it's okay to drink. But as long as dapat alam namin yung limitation natin. And as long as we're still responsible on what we're doing on, like, after pagdasing na, ganun. So, yeah, it's actually true. It's not a hoax. It's not a myth. Mahilig talaga kami ng mga engineering student. Assumption number two. Actually, this is more of a question than an assumption. So, this question is from Kuya Sid. So, siya sa mga senior namin, may YouTube channel siya, and liling ko sa baba, i-subscribe to him. Anyway, yung tanong niya is, kung bakit daw maraming LN2K sa Seng? Actually, yung batch nila talaga, yung dahilan kung bakit. So, masyado akong close sa batch nila, naging, I mean, play-play lang kami ganun. And, Nagvandal sila ng LN2K because that's yung tawag nila sa akin. So, pag LN2K, that's long talk. And nakarating siya sa marami, sa, may, sa office, sa CR, sa mga, sa canteen, sa mga classroom, ganun. Like, on daily basis talaga, nung may face-to-face -face pa, is nakakita ko ng LN2K sa, sa campus. But, yeah, that's the reason kung bakit may LN2K sa Seng. So, ayan. So, mga taga-Seng dyan, alam nyo na. <laughs> So, let's go with the third assumption. This assumption is from Kit, an engineering student. So, yung assumption niya is mag-de-explain ng mabuti yung prof. Huh. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, uh, okay, so may mga prof naman na nag-de-explain talaga ng mabuti, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's go with the next assumption bago pa ako matanggal sa engineering school. <laughs> For the fourth assumption, guys, is that sabi ni Lawrence at ni Clifford, magaling or matalino sa math. Yeah, actually, it's kind of required na magaling ka sa math or matalino ka sa math. Hindi ko nga gets yung iba, ba't sinasabi nila na hindi naman kailangan na magaling sa math pag engineering or baka bobo lang ako, I don't know. Pero I swear, kailangan mo magaling ka sa math or at least marami kang alam sa math because if not, you're gonna retake a subject for like couple of times. Kasi math is the foundation, pero... I think yung misconception lang is that puro kami math. It's actually math pero more of an analysis kung paano mo siya isasolve, yes. It's, kung iisipin mo, multiply plus addition, ganyan lang na may ginagawa namin. But, ano yung i-multiply? Ano yung ita-times? Ano yung i-divide? Ano yung formula with that? Kasi kaya ng calculator, but the way you formulate the formula or kung yung mga out inputs mo, yun yung mahirap kasi yeah, it demands a lot of thinking, something. Pero, yeah, I have to say kailangan magaling ka sa math. And And yes, most of or a lot, if not all of my batchmates and schoolmates are magaling talaga sa math. Sila yung mga usually pandayo sa MTOP and stuff. <laughs> May pandayo sa MTOP tapos pagdating sa, sa engineering, bagsak lang din naman. <laughs> And yeah, so kailangan magaling sa math. Assumption number five. Ito, medyo nakakatawa. So, assumption ni Don is basta daw engineering, yummy. Um, I have to say, nakakagwapo pag engineering student. I mean... <laughs> Oh, bas minsan mo narinig ako na, oh, jowa mo engineering, gwapo yan, no, blah, blah, blah. Kasi most sa course namin is lalaki. So, parang andun yung stereotype na, ah, engineering, gwapo, blah, blah. Which is actually benefit us, yeah. So, alam nyo na, jowa kayo na engineering kasi yummy. 
for the next assumption number 6, sabi ni Miss Jean, pag engineering daw, manloloko. Hmm, tapos marami pa ako namabasa pag engineering magaling mang ghost. Totoo ba? Kasi hindi naman ni, eh. hindi naman kayo, ganyan kayo porke hindi lang kayo bet. Kami manloloko na agad ang mga engineering. Pero yeah, baka, baka yung iba, pero sa amin sa civil, hindi kami manloloko guys. So, pag magjojowa kayo na engineering, civil. Okay, civil. <laughs> Pero I think di naman yan sa core, sa mga tao yan. So, wag natin isisi sa core. So, wag kami, wag, wag kami, iba na lang. For the next assumption, guys, is that sabi ni Vince, akala daw niya puro, puro mat. Yun pala, puro sakit sa ulo, which is true. Yes, ang sakit talaga sa ulo. More than mat, mat puro siya sakit sa ulo kasi nakakapagod. I mean, yeah, nakakapagod talaga siya. Ang daming formula, ang daming numbers, ang daming kailangan i-analyze. Tapos, alam mo to the point na, sabi ko, hala, dali naman ito. Like, nag enjoy ako mag-sagot. At tas pag-check ko ng sagot, ay, shit, mali. <laughs> If you're doing it very smoothly or like easily, you're probably doing it wrong. Yes, ganun tama yun. That pag madali talaga, mali yun. <laughs> so, it's always the hard time. It's always the hard problem. Pero, may mga techniques naman kasi and natuturuan tayo ng mga techniques ng mga prof natin. So, sometimes it's sakit sa ulo but ang sarap sa feeling pag nakasolve ka or like tama yung sinolve mo. So, nare-relieve din naman yung sakit natin sa ulo. For the next assumption, guys, is that, sabi ni Joy, akala daw niya wala nang masyadong essay kasi nga, more on math. Pero, yes, marami pa rin kaming essays ngayon, especially sa minor subjects. And, I think, may isa kaming subject na marami talagang essay because wala naman talaga kaming uh, sarili ko kukumpitin sa subject na yun. Pero, that, I'm taking it as a perspective na pag engineer ka na, magagamit mo pa rin naman yung pag magaling kang sumulat. Especially sa paggawa ng proposals, pero more on technical writing siya. So, yeah. Uh, pag kung iniisip mo na wala ng essay writing sa, ano, sa engineering, yeah, meron kami. <laughs> so, hindi mo matatakasan yan. Ah, hey, our next assumption is from Francis. Ang assumption naman niya is, kung lahat daw ba ng engineering student is matatalino, at walang social life. Well, kung tigfa-follow niyo ako sa Instagram and Facebook, alam niyo na may social life ako and engineering student ako, pero hindi ko sure kung matalino ako. So, dun sa matalino siguro, I think, marami. Actually, lahat. Wala naman kasing bobo eh. So, lahat, lahat ng engineering student, actually, lahat ng student matalino. Sa amin sa engineering, like, na-amaze talaga ako kung gano'n sila katalino. Minsan, may mga taong tahimik lang, sabi ko, wow, perfect sa exam. Ganon. Matalino sila. Kami, hmm, kasama ako, wow. And eh, tas sa social life naman, no, actually, yung mga talino talaga sa engineering, eh, sila pa yung makikita mo at night, nagpa-party-party, umiinom, tapos pumapasok ng laseng, tapos sila pa yung perfect sa exam. What? Diba? Pero yes, to be honest, may mga tao naman na matalino talaga. Tapos they don't have much of social life. Pero sabi natin, maliit lang yung social circle nila. And hindi din sila para labas. I mean, hindi sila lumalabas to hang out with friends. Like, nung mula pang COVID. So may mga friend talaga ako na dati, tahimik lang sila, na ganun. But yes, you just have to find the right friends. And hindi naman porke engineering ka, wala ka ng social life. Or at least not for me. Because it's college. After all, you have to enjoy it. So, for the last assumption, guys, this assumption is from Francis. So, blackmates ko siya and barkada ko siya. So, yung assumption niya is, question actually, kung magaling daw ba ang mga prof sa Buseng or like Biko University College of Engineering? Of course, of course, magaling ang mga prof namin sa Buseng where we did not produce top notchers for nothing. Di ba, magagaling yung mga prof namin, like nagtuturo talaga sila and nag-explain talaga sila. Pa, may mga favorite kaming prof dyan. I mean, yun talaga, mga terror talaga kung itawagin ng iba. Pero promise, marami kang matutunan kasi I really na-appreciate ko lately yung mga prof na mahirap magpa-exam, nagpa-board work kasi If not to them, may hirapan kayong mag-cope up sa pag-solve ng problems. Actually, they really trained as well. Kahit like, feeling mo baga yung iba, sumpa na yung prof na mahirap ang problem, may ma-solve and ganun. Pero at the end of the day, we actually learned a lot. Andun yung pressure na, oh my God, kailan ko mag-aaral kasi may exam, blah, blah. And yes, kasi may mga exam kami, quizzes kami na from the board exam. So, yes, in long story short, magaling yung mga prof sa Buseng. Promise. Not sarcastic. Promise. So, there you go, guys. Those are the assumptions that I've got from my social media 
question. So, hindi pa yung lahat. So, let me know if you want a part 2 of this video. Again, don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel. Click the notification bell. Like this video or comment anything about kung ano pa yung assumption nyo sa engineering student or engineering school. And, yeah. See you on the next vlog.